circle friends, Tess Advice here. I am excited to share with you my traveler's notebook from the exclusive content this month for the September kit. If you are here, that means you are a subscriber to the scrapbook circle kits. You have the September kit. You got the PDF with all the exclusive content. I hope that you are enjoying the sketches and the mood boards and all the extra projects that our amazing DT is putting together for you. I, um, that's my job is Scrapbook Circle mainly is to put together that exclusive content. So I get to scour Pinterest for um, inspiration for the mood board. I get to make the sketches and I get to work with the designers on the projects that they make for the other articles. And this is the first time that I've been able to make something other than the sketch and the mood board for the exclusive content. So I'm really excited to share with you um, a flip through of my notebook and I'll just start with the outside. So this is a Webster's Pages um, Traveler's Notebook and um, we ordered these at um, CHA in January this year, 2016, and I think everybody who went with Scrapbook Circle ended up ordering at least one. So I got the mint one, but I didn't use it until the September kit came. And seeing the, uh, mainly the Pink Fresh Studio elements, but then the other things too from Pink Paisley and Ellie Studio, um, that they just seemed to scream to me, put something together in this traveler's notebook. So that's why I documented the trip that I did. So this um, little tassel here was in the kit. This white tassel was in the planner kit a few months ago, and then I added just something that I found in the jewelry section at, um, I think I got this at Michael's. Put it all on a jump ring, put it on a lobster claw clasp, and then attach that to the elastic part that goes around the notebook. So that opens up to the inside then. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, over here on the pockets, I use this a lot because I don't know about you, but when I work on really big projects, I spread everything out. And as I trim and cut and move things around, everything little gets lost. So it was fun to have a spot to stick things in like the um, clips here, some of the stickers, little bits of pattern paper, because you'll see as I go through the pages, I use a lot of little pieces. So that was a great handy place to keep that. The alphas um, that I used on several of the pages are just tucked in there. So that's how I use this part of my traveler's notebook. This insert is one that I bought at, I wanna say Joann's. It's made for these Webster pages traveler notebooks. And I used the black and white polka dot one because I thought it matched the kit really well. And this is just secured in there with more elastic. That's how these traveler notebooks work. So there's a couple of different elastics in here. So I've still got one more. So, oh, there goes my pen. If I wanted to put another insert in here, I could. So I plan to go back to this place next year. So maybe I'll do next year's in here too. Who knows? All right, well, I'm going to take you over to my craft table now and spread things out and show you page by page the rest of my notebook. All right, so when you open up my traveler's notebook, the first thing you see is the title page. I use the We Are Memory Keepers alphas, all the black ones, um, to spell the main part of my title. Uh, July here is the freckled fawn um, yellow alphas, and then these are off of the We Are Memory Keeper sticker sheets. The chipboard hearts are Pink Fresh Studio. This um, kind of mirror-like one, that is from the Pink Paisley embellishments. And these gold hearts are from the uh, We Are Memory Keeper sticker sheet. And this washi tape that I used throughout the notebook is just something I picked up at some big box store. It wasn't part of the kit, but I wanted there to be some washi tape, so um, that's the one I decided to use. So this page is um, all about waking up really, really early the morning that I spent the entire day flying from California to the East Coast. So it's just a screenshot of my alarm set for that morning. And I matted it on some of the Pink Fresh Studio um, pattern paper, but then I put that on top of a glassine bag from the kit that was holding some of the kit contents. And the confetti, the star confetti, see if I can get it to shake back over. Uh, also in the kit, I put in the glassine bag. So as you're flipping through the pages, you see it move, and that's a lot of fun. And then just put some stickers on top of that. Um, oh, and these cute eyelash stickers are from the We Are Memory Keeper sticker sheet, too. I liked that because it, you know, kind of reminded me of sleepy eyes. 
So this page is just all about the journaling. I had paper clipped something on the other side. So since you saw the clip on this side, I decided just to tuck in a piece of pattern paper. I didn't even glue it down. It's literally just tucked in. So um, I think that's a fun way to add some more pattern. So on this page, I've got my boarding pass for the first flight that I took from Sacramento to um, Charlotte. And again, tucked in some more pattern paper for some color. I, um, when I printed all of my photos, I printed them at about three by three and then left a big white border around each one. So I didn't mat these on more cardstock, um, but it kind of looks like I did mat them on white cardstock before I put them on anything else. But more um, pink fresh pattern paper, more alphas here. I tried to mix up which alphas I use. So on this page I use the yellow and then this page I use the little ones and then this page I didn't even use any but I did use the mirror stickers um, from Pink Paisley. So this page is about lunch at the airport um, in my layover in Charlotte and then another view of uh, the plane from uh, going from Charlotte to Boston. So then this page is about getting to Boston. I um, took a picture of the floor because they had this really cool thing on the floor and um, that's what that is. And then this is a, of course a, a postcard and I used one of the Pink Fresh Studio clips, wood clips, to put the postcard in. Now the wood clips, they're not going to be as flexible as the metal clips are. So this one postcard, that was pretty much it. Didn't think I could really stuff anything else in there, but that's okay because that's all I wanted to put in there. And then I spelled Boston out of pattern papers from the kit. Some of these are um, in the 6x6 six six paper pad that was in there, and um, some of them are full 12x12 12 12 sheets from the main kit. But I used the We Are Memory Keepers Mini Alpha punch board to do that. If you haven't seen that, it's a really cool gadget, especially if you don't have like a silhouette or a Cricut machine, but you can make these really cool um, letters with this one little gadget and you'll see that I did that in other places as well. It's a great way to add a lot of pattern papers without taking up a lot of space. So this page is about my hotel and I've got a picture of the hotel that I took one morning while I was waiting for the shuttle to get me to the retreat center. That was one of those little notes that they leave in there um, on the thing is like on the table. And then this is um, the glassine bag. I believe this held the star confetti in the kit. And so what I did is I added it in here because I had my hotel key still. So that's in the pocket. And that's why it says key. And then I took one of the other pink fresh wood uh, clips and stuck it right there on the bag, just as a way to embellish it. So over here I've got another uh, paper clip. This was on my badge that I wore while I was at the, the retreat center. And then again, more pieces of pattern paper. And um, uh, for photos, I have another photo. And then the photo also ended up on Instagram on someone else's account. So I did a screenshot of the Instagram um, post because I liked what they said in the caption. And um, this sticker here is again from the We Are Memory Keepers uh, sticker sheet and it's pointing right at me. So I'm in there somewhere. This page, again, I used that We Are Memory Keepers alpha punch board to do the word dance and then some more of the uh, Pink Paisley stickers here. Again, same technique where I just put it on some pattern paper, a little washi tape, and it's done. And this one, because I liked the pattern on the edge of the paper so much, I let it hang off my page, which is totally fine because, as you can see, I've got other stuff hanging off too, and it still fits really nicely in the notebook itself, so I wasn't worried about that. On this page, this was the center of my book, and I wanted to put another picture here, but I wasn't able to get a copy of the picture that was good enough quality, so um, I went ahead and put my boarding pass from uh, Charlotte to Boston right in here, so it's chronologically out of order, but I don't care. It's great. And then this is my schedule for um, the conference that I was at. I loved this that it said plan. So even though this isn't a planner, this was still the plan for the, the few days that I was there. So that worked out perfect. Again, more of the mirror stickers and We Are Memory Keepers stickers. So on this page, what I did is I took a uh, postcard that I had 
and I used some washi tape to basically make a flap out of it. So if you wanted to, you could put more journaling or another photo on the back here. I didn't, but um, I did have a lot of journaling here, so I thought that was kind of a fun way to break up all that word, all those words. And again, um, some more of those pink fresh, or not pink fresh, um, freckled fawn alphas. I love these. I think I need like seven more sheets and chipboard hearts and stickers. So basically just using the same supplies over and over again, but mixing them up in different combinations. Another wood clip right here. And um, this is one of those late night, I'm really tired and sweaty and gross and I need a shower selfies. And so I made it all cute with more pattern paper. And then this is about um, how I was able to FaceTime my kids when I got to the hotel room. And even though it was late for me, it was dinner time for them because of the big time difference. So that's why that phone sticker was there. So another way to use these um, wood clips is you don't have to clip it to the page itself, but I just use adhesive and um, glued it to the page on the inside of the page and then tucked in more um, ephemera from my trip. So this is my bill for the hotel. And then um, just some more of those little mini alphas, a shot that I took off uh, from the shuttle. Um, I wasn't very good about taking a lot of photos, but I did manage to get this photo of my notebook um, that I was furiously taking notes in all week long. And, um, and then what I loved about it which I didn't think of when I took the picture was you could see the leggings I was wearing and um, that ties into my picture over here of Joe Tremaine because um, throughout class he called me Rosebud because of my leggings. So because I happened to have this picture it was a nice way to document that part of the story and that memory for me. So um, five, six, seven, eight and Joe that is um, those We Are Memory Keepers stickers again. And then just more pictures of people that I got to take class from and learn from and and just the same pattern again, pattern paper, some stickers. This is one of those wood clips, um, but I didn't use it as a clip. I cut off the clip part and just used it as a wood embellishment. Again, more of those big alphas that I cut out. Uh, my boarding pass to go home. And again, because it was a paper clip on one side, I tucked in some paper on the other, some shots of what I did to spend the uh, the time in, in the air, a lot of reading, a lot of going through my notes, and then, and that's it, and then I got home, and I got home really late at night and was just exhausted and didn't think to take a picture on the way home, so didn't do that. Maybe I will next time, but so that is my traveler's notebook. If you've ever um, wanted to do one of these, I say go for it. There's no right or wrong way to do it. And the best tip that I have for you is start with a kit. So something like our scrapbook circle kits is a great place to start because everything is coordinated for you, but there's enough of a variety that you can mix things up and every page doesn't look the same, but it all looks coordinated and it flows from page to page to page. So, um, so that's my traveler's notebook. I hope you enjoyed it and we hope to bring you more videos as part of the exclusive content. So be sure to let us know what you think and what you might like to see more of. Thank you. Thank you.